Hey guys, so I got a new camera. If you can't already tell, I'm so excited because I can actually see myself now. Um, with my other camera, I had a Nikon D3100. It's completely flat in the back, so you can't pull out the screen. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Yay, the upgrade. Anywho, so I wanted to do sort of a really quick review slash demo, like how I would wear the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette. So I figured I would go ahead and get a few of the pieces from the collection that I thought were the most important to me. I'm actually going to start with the nails because I absolutely love this nail color. It's called Mrs. Mia Wallace and it's this beautiful sort of burgundy with a little bit of gold in it. See the light shine off of it? It has a little bit of a gold iridescence. But I absolutely love burgundy for the fall time. I think it's just so appropriate and it's so edgy and fun and sort of funky at the same time. So absolutely love this color. And then I cannot pass up on a red lip, but because I have so many different red lips, I decided that I would get the Mrs. Mia Wallace lip liner and it's a sort of brick red. It just didn't make any sense to get another lipstick, but I really didn't have a liner. So I figured I would start with the lips and then we can finish with the eye palette. But Urban Decay's liners, like their eyeliners, lip liners, they're all super creamy, really long wearing. So I'm a big fan of Urban Decay. I'm obsessed, anyway. Okay, so this is the Mrs. Mia Wallace lip. I love it. I would leave it just like this only because I really appreciate a really nice matte sort of velvet red lip, especially for fall and winter time, especially when we start to transition in the holidays too. This is amazing. It's not gonna smear all over your face. It's gonna stay on all day but it has so much pigment in it and it, you know it's gonna be long wearing because it is a lip liner and it is the Urban Decay 24-7. So lastly onto the eyes. I'm so excited about it because it's so pretty and it has all of these shades that I pretty much wear every single day. So this is one of the things where um, I actually can carry this with me and it'll have every color I will ever eat because I'm so very into mattes and browns, as some of you um, can sort of pick up and detect on my Instagram. So I am literally obsessed with these colors. Black, we have two different sort of nude shades. So this one is called Righteous, sort of like a matte cream shade. And then we have Tyranny, which is going to be like my everyday color. Look how gorgeous that is. It's just matte, like flat matte. This one here is called Vengeance. And then we have Furious, just that black. This one here is Anger, which has a little bit more of a satin or like a frosted, but a slight frost compared to the Righteous. So I'm just gonna do a really quick, sort of easy look that I would wear every single day. I'm not even gonna go hardcore <laughs> with it, but I just want to show you my version. Okay, so we're going to start with a little bit of primer, and I'm just using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. It's clear, so I wanted it to um, give me a better color payoff with the eyeshadows. Now I'm going to start with my base color, and that's going to be Tyranny, and I'm just going to grab a Smashbox. This is a crease brush, I think, right? And I'm just going to grab a little bit of that, patting it on, and I just want a big fluffy brush. That way I can sort of deposit the color a lot quicker, because I'm going to use this shade in a pretty large area, and if I use a small, dense brush, I will literally be applying all day. <laughs> and I'm sort of buffing outwards as I go also. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Tyranny, same brush, and I'm going to go underneath. I want this to be really smoky, so I'm going to sort of use the side of the brush and that's gonna help to sort of blend and apply at the same time, because I'm gonna blend this sort of low. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of Vengeance with a flat shader brush. This is just a MAC 239. 
and I'm going to apply this sort of to my lash line and the outer area but I'm not going to go in here I'm going to keep that light so I'm just going to start to pack that right out here and then you can take a little blending brush with the uh, tyranny on it just to blend that out and I love Urban Decay's eyeshadows they're super pigmented and they're really easy to blend I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, end of the brush that comes with the palette and it's really flat I'm gonna use that for my lining so I'm gonna take a little bit of furious a little bit of that black just at the tip <laughs> And I'm gonna use that right as close to the lashes as I possibly can. And I'm gonna wing it out slightly. Now this is gonna have a little bit of fallout. And that's why I chose to do the skin sort of last. This is just gonna thicken up the eye look and give you a little bit more drama. Taking a black Urban Decay pencil in Perversion, and I'm just gonna tight line. So I'm not gonna line up top, just in between my lashes, and then inside of that inner corner, just a little bit. Lastly, I'm just gonna add the Righteous and the Anger. So I'm gonna do Righteous right at my brow bone, only because it doesn't have any of that shimmer to it and I want a really nice highlighted matte brow bone. So I'm just using the other end of the brush that comes with the palette. Then I'm gonna take the same brush and a little bit of Anchor, which has a little bit more of that sheen and I'm gonna apply that to my inner corner. Then I'm also going to apply a little bit of the anger just to the tip of my nose for a little bit of a highlight. Right here at the top of the bridge. And then right at the top of the cupid's bow. Then we can do a little bit of mascara. I'm just going to use a Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. And here is the final look. Like I said, it's really quick and simple. This you can wear um, without the red lips and like a, a nude lip or like a gloss. You could wear the eyes for every day. But the lip just adds a little bit of drama and it's so badass. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the review was sort of helpful. And I think, especially those of you who are sort of new to makeup, um, beginners and such, I think a palette like this would be great for you to start with because then you'll get all those sort of matte, easy to blend, neutral colors with black and cream and brown. Oh yeah, super loving this entire collection. Loving my nails, loving the red. So leave all your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Until next time guys, 